Do you have okay, some questions? Then. Yeah, I do. What's some like a lot of questions? Okay. All right. Okay. What's up, everyone watching? How are you? Okay. And before anybody asks, they're shady. <laughs> Sleeping on my bed. I'm a jacket. One <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. The um, question is, if there were like five extra hours in a day, how would you spend them? Hmm. Well, right now I'd spend them by editing. Hi, Amy. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm in Toronto. Uh, probably editing, and uh, if I was on the road, I'd be filming. That's all yeah. I do. Oh, uh, pretty much. Yeah, I think I'd rather uh, I'd, I'd want to be filming somewhere. Yeah. Not, I don't want to be editing for extra five hours, but that's how I, that's what I would do, and I'd probably yeah. watch a movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, why do you like the core film location? Hmm? Um, why do you like to core like film location? Like what? Why do I like film locations? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. I like. I like anything where um, artists have created. <laughs> so I like going to studios. I like going to, yeah, uh, like a, maybe a famous artist stuff. Uh, filmmaker, yeah. actor, anything, uh, their apartments, anywhere where an artist creates, like a studio, like, like an art studio. So that's what filming locations are. You go to one, you see it in a movie, then you think, I wonder why they, I think, I wonder why they chose that. Why did a location manager go all the way out to, say, the middle of upstate New York and choose what this one specific house? What made them want to use that house? And I want to see what it looks like in real life. And then... That's what interests me, why they chose these places. So that's, yeah. why, that's why I like film again. I don't really care about the, uh, I'm not into the, a lot of people like the nuances of filming locations, like to see how they've changed over the years or compare. Well, I'd like somebody to say how it looks compared to back then. I'm not yeah. so much, I, I don't, to be, to be honest, with Wandering Traveler, that's not a big thing for me is to see how it compared to back then. It's interesting to me, but it's more interesting uh, to see what it looks like and usually because usually they do look the same like i don't tend to look to see if the same crack on the wall is behind something i just like to see where the artist created it yeah okay. what are your favorite things to do besides doing filming location uh oh well if i'm gonna film something mm, something like that yeah Oh, I, I prefer doing music ones to, to anything else. I prefer doing videos about music and music history way more than film locations. Film locations I like, but they take the longest to film and they take the longest to edit. Because I try to match up shots. I like doing that. I do like matching up the same shot from the movie and showing it. But I like, uh, I really prefer, um, like something like I put up today, like Eminem's house, Tupac's house, and yeah. stuff on uh, anything to do with like music really is what I prefer the most. Mm -hmm. Just because, also because it's I'm it's easier to do. It's yeah. easier to go point my camera at a house or a studio, or go in a studio and and have somebody walk me around and say this is where you know they recorded this song or that sort of thing. But music history appeals to me the most. Yeah. Yeah, and if I can, I want to do uh, more visual arts too, but there's not, there's only a couple in Canada, but I don't think they have any interest, but I want to do some in New York and uh, a few other places, but definitely Europe for yeah. that. What's up everyone? Okay. If you could change one thing that happened, will it be? One thing that happened, like what, in, in terms of what? Um, just like anything like, just like anything that, like kind of happen like some places you want to go to like oh. oh okay in terms of you so you speak in terms of the channel yeah um yeah. well i mean there's lots of times i've gone to that place i wish they were open uh i wish i could get in 
especially during the past year and a half with COVID, I haven't been able to get into a fair amount of places that I usually could get into. Um, I think as my channel grows more and, and in, in the future, I'm going to be able to get into a lot more places because I can say what it's for and some people want to showcase their places. But I, I mean, I'm trying to think of something happened in LA that I went to. I mean, there's one a video coming up where a huge location that I did, a filming location with multiple locations and the main one, I couldn't get on the property. There's no way, but I still filmed it. But yeah. something like that, I'd like to be able to, uh, uh, actually, I probably could have tried harder. I didn't even bother, I didn't even bother trying with that one. I just went yeah. to it and just filmed outside. But yeah, you got rejected. Oh, somebody got rejected last week at GMT Studios. You got to go next door at GMT Studios. Like the shelter, Amy says, yes, true. But if you go to GMT Studios next door, talk to, um, I can't remember the name of the production manager, but she was the one who let me in. She was really nice. GMT Studios, where Nirvana recorded Smells Like Teen Spirit. Let me see. What TV show do you like that you hate? Do I like that I hate? Yeah, the um, TV show that you don't really interest in. Oh, there's lots. I don't watch a lot of TV shows anymore. There's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm used to be an avid TV. I used to watch a lot of different shows, but now, uh, especially because I was away for so long, I missed a lot of my favorite shows. So I haven't, yeah. I still haven't seen Shameless, The Ending. I do like Law and Order, SVU. Con but what shows don't I like? I don't like any fantasy shows. I never got into Game of Thrones. I didn't watch Stranger <laughs> Things. I really watch a lot more movies, yeah. and I don't even watch like Netflix shows that much. It's really. Yeah. Uh, oh, that that you don't want to admit? Do you mean ones that I don't want to admit that I like? That's what somebody's asking. Well, I mean, I'm a Survivor freak. I'm a huge fan of Survivor. So, but I'm proud to admit that lyrical lizard. I watched. This was the first year Survivor wasn't on because of the pandemic, and they just finished the first, the next two uh, seasons. So it starts again in September, thank God. But um, it was really weird. I, I've never missed an episode of Survivor, and. Um, Law and Order, Saturday Night Live. That's about it. That's really, I think there's three shows that left that I watch. Yeah. Because people ask me to go and do filming locations for TV shows. And I'm like, I haven't seen, I haven't seen. I really, I really watch, I watch, I watch almost a movie a day. Even if it's yeah. a movie I've seen before. But I don't watch movies like a regular person. I stop them every two seconds. Because I'm like, oh, I wonder where that is. I wonder where that is. It get, it's obsession. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I stop it. I'm like, oh, if I see something in the background, I try to always guess where. I can tell where something was filmed pretty quickly, what city, just by looking at it. And then I try to find all the locations. So it takes me four hours to watch an hour and a half movie. Yeah. Which is very, very annoying. Um, what are some safety tips you have um, to, um, like... Just like what kind of safety you have to go by if you're traveling? Like safety? Um, um, yeah. Well, I mean, there's lots. I mean, you gotta you gotta pay attention. First of all, you gotta pay attention to what property you're on when you're travel when you're driving and, and and you're filming things. You gotta pay attention to, you know, if you have permission to be somewhere. I always try to make sure that I'm I have permission usually. Yeah. Um. Driving, I'm in the car a lot. I spend a lot of time in my car for these things. So um, I got to be alert. So that's, you know, caffeine, that's window down. If it's if it's hot out, instead of air conditioning, get the window down, keeps you awake. And you guys got to pay attention to the road. And don't, uh, if you're going to go to an abandoned place, which I do do a lot, don't go alone, usually. Yeah. I, I've gone to some in Detroit alone, which was fun. But um Otherwise, most abandoned places, I go with somebody else. And that's just that's just a smart thing to do. doesn't matter if you're, you know, man, woman, six foot five, you know, because if you could fall through the floor and nobody would ever find you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good safety tip. And maybe bring, a, you know, one of those police batons. But, yeah. 
Okay. Um, what are the downsides of traveling by yourself? Um, I don't know if there's any downside really. I don't. I don't. I make all the decisions, right? So, you know, I, I've gotten better. At, I've gotten better at telling people no, because yeah. people like people that I'm filming with or or whatever. And I, I'm just sometimes I used to be like, yeah, okay, yeah, well, you know, let's go there. But now I'm more. Uh, well, I've always been like that. Actually, now I think about. It. <laughs> you're gonna say no. I like. To, I, I I I do like traveling by myself for work. If I was gonna go on a vacation. Sure, I'd want. I like going with friends. I used to do it all the time, and I still would again. And I meet up with people lots of time when I'm on the road, so I don't get lonely because I really do value my downtime, which is yeah. mostly spending in a hotel room editing and um, or just relaxing and just going for drives in different cities. I really like that. I'll go out in the middle of the night in a different city and just drive around, see what it'll, see what it's like. You yeah. know, maybe stop at a restaurant, but rarely. Just you know, just kind of maybe go for a walk down the main street type of thing. Yeah, I like just uh I forget the question now. But I I <laughs> I I forget the question. Oh, um, Please batons probably are illegal, Colleen. <laughs> and it gives me great scooters rice. It gives me great ideas. Uh that's very true. I like to I get um I get a lot of my ideas while I'm driving about how I'm going to edit something or after I film something or before, like before when I'm driving something I'm thinking how it's gonna look, the place if I have never been there, what I'm gonna say. Usually, what I when I'm talking on camera, what you see is what you get. I'm just talking as a, I, I'm not. I don't have anything planned, but I have. I have to think of some. I have to, you know, have some sort of game plan. And then I kind of, uh, I'll go for a drive just because I can edit something now. That's a serious video. I can make it. If I'm talking serious about a subject. I can edit it into something completely different. That's the magic and power of editing. You can make something that's serious, funny. You can make something that's funny, serious. I can take out, like the video I put up today was a, a, a lot longer and more meandering. And I cut it down. I could have cut it down and made it not a meandering little walk around video that I did. But today was just more of a walking around, show, pointing out a few things. And normally, I haven't I haven't done one of those in a while. That was a it was a I, so while I was editing, I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep all this stuff of me walking around. I'm doing a live. I don't know next week, Angeliki. Um, but yeah, I, I today was a video where it's just kind of I made it into um, something of just me walking around pointing out stuff, which normally I just get to the point and I film it. Yeah. Hi, Terry. Thanks, DJ Magic J. Thanks, Sheree. Hmm. Um, let's see. Which words can avoid you, like? Which what? Um, which um, words that can avoid you or annoying you? Which words? Yeah, like, like some of the comments, like somebody say something that you don't like, like some words. Oh, in the comments. Oh, nothing really. Nothing really annoys me. I mean, I don't. I have a, I have a strict rule about um, uh, with my comment section. I don't delete or um, uh, mu muzzle anybody making comments if they're like if they're negative comments. I get mostly positive comments, which is great. But I don't get um, I don't uh, allow any racist, sexist, yeah. homophobic com uh, comments uh, at all. Uh, if I see one, if there's anything like that, it's gone. I'll delete it. Yeah. I don't block the person. Normally, they I never hear from them again. If I do, if yeah. I do, because I read every comment, right? So I get a lot of comments every day. I'll I'll just uh, delete them right away. But if they make an insult about me, like it's my hair, they I get yeah. one about my hair every day. Uh, sometimes sometimes give them, you know, every now and again a stupid one. I'll leave it up if it's clever. Now, if somebody's really like really rude or insulting, then I'll just. Yeah. Uh, You've seen what I write in my comments back to them. Yeah. I'm like, uh, you know, they're not going to win a war of words with me. I'm just, yeah. I get the last, I get the last word. Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid when they, if somebody leaves a negative comment, because like, I mean, I'm pretty, I can be pretty mean back. Yeah. And I get the last word because I can just, I can just block them so they can't write back. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. To, it's pretty yeah. funny to me. It's pretty funny to me when <laughs> they don't understand that. Another thing I like is when people, um, if they write something that's mean or rude 
and they yeah. write something really, really long, and I can tell it took them probably like a long time to text it out or to type it out. You know, like yeah. sometimes people leave paragraph, and if it's rude, sometimes I just delete it. Yeah. Before I even get halfway through it, I'm just like, you spent so long just to insult me, and I, and I just deleted it. You, yeah. you, what's, what's wrong with you? But for the most part, um, I mean, I don't delete comments because I, I leave them up if they're negative. But I get, I've got a 98% positive, com positive rating on YouTube, so which is good you know i'm gonna get some things wrong and people point out and mostly when i get something wrong in a video which happens you know i'm gonna make a mistake every now and again because i'm just talking 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 people will point it out most of the time they're nice yeah yes i accidentally blocked you once that's right that's somebody just said <laughs> accidentally i did yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see um what can make you mad if i'm um... Like even you're filming, there's something kind of make you mad. Uh, wind, wind, wind is the worst. I have, a, I do have a really powerful wind sock and a really powerful mic, but um, yeah. just when now I was down in um, somewhere near Blythe, California, but I can't remember the exact town. It was I can never remember where it was. Uh, the wind was so bad; it was virtually. Yeah. I had to go into a, a an outhouse, like a bathroom. Yeah. stall thing to record to record me talking and i was it, and still it sounded like a, 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 a tornado outside but wind makes me angry um if there's other i don't really get mad if people walk through the shots even or like i yell mm -hmm. at trucks and i yell at you know mm -hmm. cars that go by loud but it doesn't really get me mad the airplane yeah. graveyard yeah that was really really windy uh, when people mm -hmm. look at me, no, <laughs> I yell at them or I say something, but I don't mind. You know, yeah, I get you get used to that. Somebody said that on the video today because I made I was joking with the woman that's watching me on the streets of LA. She's like, "Oh, they're probably watching you because you're talking to yourself." I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm kind of used to that. That's all I do is walk around talking to myself on on, on uh, while I'm filming. I'm really used to it." <laughs> um. Let's see. What makes you um, nervous when you like talk to um, like um, like somebody's famous? Like you're just really like talking to, like. Uh, well, I mean, I don't, I, I don't really get nervous to be honest. I'm just, it's, it's uh, everybody. I, I mean, I've back in the day when I used to meet famous people at the film festival and stuff, mm -hmm. and used to try to meet musicians after concerts i think i would get maybe a little nervous maybe but i was younger now yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be nervous talking to anybody because i'm i that's what i do i'm a talker and i like meeting people i like talking to people so i don't think i i don't think i'd be i mean i'd be nervous if i met you know um eminem for one thing because i think he'd want to <laughs> kill me yeah because <laughs> i put some of his <laughs> houses that he lived in at the time I put them up while he was living in them, which I regret now. But, um, uh, you know, someone like, if I met uh, a president or, you know, um, yeah, maybe a president, Eminem. But no, I don't think anybody else, I don't know. I don't think this, I'm not being arrogant. I just, you know, I just, I would love to talk. I'd be so excited. Yeah. But definitely Eminem. No, I don't think I'd be nervous if I met Prince. I wouldn't be nervous. I'd be excited, Terry, I think. Right? Does that say Terry? Yeah, Terry. Hi, Terry. I, I like. I I was nervous when I met George Michael, but I was a kid, so I was young. So of course I was nervous then. But uh, I think excitement would take over anything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do get starstruck though. Somebody just wrote starstruck. I do get starstruck very easily. Like if I see a celebrity in L.A. or Trump, I I get excited. So I, I'm like, what? And it can be just like anybody. I've, I've seen tons of celebrities in LA and they're like, just like people who are regular, just actors, not movie stars, not TV stars. But I recognize from a TV show or something. I'm like, oh man, that's so cool. You know, and I want to take a picture with them. And you see, there's pictures on my Instagram with some people that, you know, I have some guys from the NFL. I don't even know who they are. And I was still like, oh, that's awesome. You know, somebody from the NFL. I've never seen an NFL game in my life. Would I be nervous to meet the COVID-19 preacher? <laughs> COVID-19! I will, no, I would like to talk, I would like to talk to him. I'd like to get him and Pat Robertson in a room and just lock them in there together. 
Andy Samberg. Hey, ranking. Oh, sorry, uh, ranking. 86 is what you you asked me a question, and it's 86. Sorry. Oh, if I met the Toronto Maple Leafs, I'd have a big problem meeting the Toronto Maple Leafs right now, Terry. I'd be very, very angry if I met them. I'm still dealing with that. Still a sore subject. Let's see. Who is the nicest person you know, and why are they nice? The nicest person I know. You're pretty nice. Um, I've met tons. I, I've met so many. I've met, uh, you know, I mean, there's lots of people in my, in my uh, life apart from YouTube that I know that are very nice. Uh, you know, my friends. I'm not friends with anybody that's... Uh, 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 no, Angelique, I wasn't nervous when I asked the director, but Benicio, uh, what's the director's name that I, we know? I mean, my friend and I know that, that uh, Benicio Del Toro. Um, uh, nicest person, but I mean, I, there's been times that I've met uh, yeah. filming with, excuse me. Oh, probably, you know what? Probably Steve, the graveyard guy. Yeah. Guillermo Del Toro. Probably, yeah, Brexton's pretty nice too. God, he's so needy though. Um, <laughs> uh, probably... Uh, Steve, who I've become very close with. I don't know yeah. if you've seen my videos with Steve, uh, Retired Life with Steve. Uh, he's a great guy. My, yeah. yeah, Scott Michael's great. I just talked to Scott today. Michael from Grim Life, amazing people. And, uh, um, you know, lots of viewers like yourself and Brexton, Dana, Lisa. There's so many. Alan. So many nice people that I get to I get to meet. Mike Brown. We can do that soon, Scooter. The original Tim Hortons. Yeah, we should do that next week, maybe. I don't know when I, I have, I'm going to be putting up all LA videos for the next six weeks, though. But I can still go out and film that. Johnny Depp. I don't know if I'd be nervous. VNA is very nice. Uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, maybe I would be a little nervous to, to meet, maybe, but because I've no, because he's been in my life forever, you know, he's somebody that I've admired forever. I just put yeah. him in my new uh, Instagram reel that I did. I put a, a peak nineteen nineties picture of him and uh, uh, what's her name? I think it was Kate Moss. Sorry, the text. Uh, yeah, Johnny Depp's really cool. Yeah. See. If you could take a month longer traveling, where where would I go, or what would I do? Yeah, yeah. Where you go? <clears throat> well, I do want to do Europe, but that's gonna wait because there's still more I want to do. I really want to go back. Um, I miss LA already. I miss California. Um, but I mean, I, I got my fill for two months, but I like to go back. I like to drive across and go back through Arizona and through New Mexico and Texas. Oh, and I mean, there's all the deep South states I really want to go back to. I miss Seattle. I like to see Seattle in the summer, but I kind of know what it would be like. It'd just be like, you know, more green, but same amount of rain. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess I'd have to see, but um I'll never get tired of going back and forth to California. That's for sure. Yes. I'll always, um, I'm, you know, I've already got, I've already done research for the next time I'll be there. Do you prefer travel by a car or a plane? Car. I prefer car, but most of the time it's plane then car. But, uh, Car, I prefer to load up my car with as much stuff as I want. Uh, you know, I don't have to worry about uh, checking bags on a plane. I don't have to sit in an airport for two hours before I just get in my car and I go. I am a little tired. Uh, the driving sucks when it's a long time. But now that I'm doing uh, uh, this full time, I have more time to go off and drive and, and travel. So I can just, instead of driving eight hours a day, I can just drive three to four hours or less, two hours. 
If I could, I could drive one hour and say, you know what? I'm here and somewhere else. There's something I want to film here. And I'll get a hotel for the night and relax and then film the next day. Because yeah. I used to really rush and drive here back and forth, you know, go to Florida and Georgia and back in three weeks and be on a deadline. And that was crazy. And that was driving 12 hours a day sometimes. I don't want to do that anymore. And I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah. So I prefer to drive. But it also is kind of cool waking up at six in the morning, being on a plane at eight and by one o'clock in the afternoon, you're in California, you yeah. know, instead of driving for a week to get there. Not too shabby. That's fine, Aunt Terry. Here it is. The progress of the YouTube studio is slowly coming along. Somebody's asked that. I've got some of the stuff set up here, but uh, to go to be moved in there, but not yet. Okay. Um, how do you stay um, motivated to the post a video? How to stay motivated? Yeah. Post a video? Well, I yeah. mean, it's the job. I have to. So I'm excited to, like, I've got so many videos that I'm, I'm excited to put up. And there's, like, ones that um, probably I won't even put up for three or four weeks now. And they're going to, you know, I think they're going to be really popular and really big. There's some crazy places I went to and met some crazy people that are going to shock some people. But I, I'm trying, I'm, I'm not even really going in any order anymore. I just try to alternate between, you know, the fam famous grave, a filming location, something to do with music, you know. I try to alternate. So I've got stuff coming. And, uh, you know, I, I realized the other day or about a week ago, I was like, I've got so much from California that I have to upload three to four times a week. Yeah. So otherwise, my next trip, I'll be still uploading for California in September. So I try to do more and more. And honestly, I like, uh, you know, it, it, you get that I get the feedback from people right away, what they think about the video, and I get to watch the numbers rise and see how it does against other videos. So I like to see, and then, you know, two days later, I'll look at the video, and it's all of a sudden got a lot more views than, I, than it did at the when it first came, when I first put it up. I had, like, was getting no views, and all of a sudden it's getting, you know, 10,000, 20,000 views. There's yeah. a few videos like that I've done lately where I didn't think anybody was going to watch it, and then all of a sudden... I did my two of my most popular videos I did uh, in the past little while I, I filmed them both back to back literally back to the last two videos I filmed in LA I filmed them both within 20 minutes mm -hmm. and uh, they were like really close to each other and they're the two of my most popular ones 100,000 views 80,000 views each which is crazy and yes yeah, somebody said the rap ones did well which is really good like a lot of the, the you're right the hip hop ones and uh, rap ones do really well and that's great for me because that's a subject that I love and that's a subject I can talk about endlessly and I get excited to go to places having to do with a lot of 90s hip-hop and um well Eminem but especially 90s hip-hop like you know NWA Snoop Dogg all that sort of thing Dr. Dre Easy. -E. so I, I get excited to go to those locations and then when I see that they do well it makes me want to I, I want to go back and do more yeah Mm, somebody asks, is, what is your dream location? Oh, there's a lot. There's, I mean, there's, there's, I get, you know, there's some horror movies that were filmed uh, overseas uh, that I want to do. Uh, there's some stuff to do with George Michael that I want to do. There's um, a couple of things with Eminem that I've never gone to do that I have to get special permission i'm trying and um so i mean there's there's a few movies like a lot of martin scorsese movies casino goodfellas that i want to do uh taxi driver but there's so many locations it's hard you know yeah. but yeah there's I, I keep i come up with uh I, I i've got lists already the other night i was editing and i stopped editing i started researching chicago because i i, I know i'm gonna be in chicago at some point in the next couple of months. So I was like, oh, what haven't I done in Chicago? Because I've been there multiple times to film. So I found more stuff in Chicago that I didn't think about before. And yeah. I'm excited. Hey, Phil. What's up, Phil? Hi, Kenny. Footloose would be good, uh, Alan. Footloose would be, I, I would like to do Footloose. Their locations are pretty close together. Um, 
I saw Footloose when I was young, and I didn't really like it that much. And then now, as an adult, I've I've watched all the dance parts, which I love. But I remember as a kid thinking Footloose was a little slow at times. But I think I like it more now. Ever did one? I did the, that today, Lyrical Lizard. I did Eminem's house in California. I did that one today, the party house. 1605 Viewmont is his address in California, which I didn't include. Let me see. Um, how do you feel about the Hurricane King in Florida, the one you did, the, your first filming? Was it your first video? I don't think that was my first video. My first video was in Florida in a swamp with the alligators, but I did do a video, you're right, during a yeah. hurricane. Um, that was pretty wild, actually. You know, my friend just messaged me, my friend that I did that video with. He just messaged me today, actually, which is nice. Yeah. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Uh, that was pretty crazy because we were alone in a animal sanctuary and you can literally see the cages of the tigers and the lions. The cages are like going like this in the wind. Yeah. And it was really strong wind and rainy and there was nobody else there. They, they were closed, but I, I talked them into letting me in. They, I said, I, I, I've come such a far away. I said, I'm from Canada. Um, of course, I wasn't there just for that, but we drove two hours to go there and then they were closed because the guy's like, dude, it's a hurricane. And I'm like, really? I go, I really want to see the alligators and stuff. And he's like, he's like, okay, if you want to come in, you can come in. And he goes, but you know, there's nobody working today. So it's just myself, my friend and the owner of the place. And then the owner showed us the alligators and he goes, okay, go take a walk around and anything could happen. Yeah. I mean, if, if those cages broke, my channel would have, the views would have been so high, but I would have been dead by a tiger <laughs> or lion or cougar. Yeah. yeah. I've had a lot of animal encounters on my channel. Yeah. Is it the wrong time to film there? Is it? The, yeah, of course. It is completely the wrong time. Uh, but uh, he let me. There's, you know, I, 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 the problem, I mean, if I'm there, if I've driven two hours out of my way to get there, I mean, yes, it's during a hurricane. I should, but what can I do? I was like on my way somewhere else. So they let me. But, uh, and, a, and a lot of my videos, a couple of ones that are coming up, I think one that I just put up, like I'm filming at six o'clock at night or seven o'clock at night. So the sun is not on my side, literally. Like either way I turn, I'm getting, I'm getting the camera in my face, like the shadow. But I don't have the luxury yet of saying, okay, well, I'm just gonna film till three o'clock today till where the sun's perfectly up right in the middle, you know, so I can control the sun. And, um, if you film after four o'clock, five o'clock, the sun starts going down and you get shadows and I don't put shadows, you know, I don't like to have them in my shots. So it's a yeah. lot of squeezing and editing. So, I, I mean, I, yeah, so some bad times to shoot. Yeah. Hi, pretty girl, Drip to Queen. Going to the movies. Who's he? Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. I take the photography part of it very, very, very seriously. And, and I, unfortunately, uh, I'd say maybe about five, six of my videos coming up, I'm not happy with the uh, shots, but oh well. Mm, let's see. Was it bad, like raining and windy and flooded when you flew there? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty, uh, it was about four years. I think that was 2017 when that was. That would have been 2017. Yeah, August 2017. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. And then drove down into the Everglades and that was, it, it warmed up and the sun came out and it was fine. But it never, it's never good to uh, uh, film during a hurricane. And I hate the rain. I mean, I hate filming in the rain, which I've done many times on my channel. But like I said, I don't have the luxury of saying, okay, well, it's raining, no filming. I mean, I've ha I did have, when I landed in Dallas, I couldn't leave the hotel for two days because it was a downpour and dark. So there was nothing I could film. And then all of a sudden it was sunny and bright. 
But if I go to a location, if I drive an hour and a half somewhere and it's raining, I get out of my car and I got to film it. I don't have the luxury of turning around and going back and saying, okay, I'll come back the next day. Cause usually I'm not there the next day. Yeah. Messes up my hair. I'm definitely not concerned about that, but it does. Yeah. I hate the feeling of wet hair too. So, or wet clothing. Um, was it your first time seeing an alligator? No, I have pictures of me as a kid holding an alligator, a baby alligator. Um, you know, they put the tape over the mouth and stuff. That was in Florida. And I've seen them in zoos and stuff, but I've always really liked alligators. There's a movie called, um, I think it was called Gator. No, that was a Burt Reynolds one. There was a movie about a uh, killer alligator. And there were stories about a killer alligator in Toronto when I was a kid that my cousin used to tease me about saying that it was across the street from her house. So I was always fascinated by alligators. And uh, I really do like them. I love watching like alligator movies and seeing them and go and like, you know, going to alligator farms and stuff as long as they're treated properly because I'm an animal lover, but they tell me they are. That's all I can do is believe them. I think that a lot of them are probably safer and better fed in these in the sanctuary. You need to really care for them. But I do. Uh, yeah, I love alligators, alligators and bears, man. Yeah. And dogs. Okay. Okay. So there's some question for you. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Shady, say hello. He's all he's all wet right now because he was outside in the rain. <laughs> sure. What are the questions for me? Yeah. Saying which what location did you do for fan or hate? What location did I do for fans and hated? Oh, uh, that well. There's one coming up. There's one coming up. I can't say what it is, but I did not. Uh, it's for a huge movie, hugely popular movie that I just, I, I mean, I think I say it halfway through the video. I can't remember, but I'm just like, you know, it's, I, I give my opinion on the movie that it's not my favorite, but I haven't done a lot of ones that I have, that I have hated because I was trying to think if there's anything, that's a good question. Because I have done requests if I'm in the area or if I'm close to something. But I have to have seen the movie. Oh, there's something. There is There is one. There's There's a movie I did that I had no clue. And not Fried Green Tomatoes. I did Fried Green Tomatoes not knowing if I'd seen the movie. I couldn't remember. And I actually ended up loving filming the location. But there was one that somebody asked me to do or something... And I hadn't seen it, and I filmed it, and I can't remember. I've done over 650 or 700 videos now. I don't know how many. So I'm getting, it's getting hard to remember. But normally, I, I, you know, if somebody requests something, I'll, if it's a story about a person or true crime or something, I'll look up the story, see if it's something that I can do, and see if it interests me, and see if I can get to it. No, I love Gary, Indiana. The Outsiders. The Outsiders was my favorite. Was one of my favorite movies, Terry. I love The Outsiders. But no, I try it. But when it comes to movies, when people suggest, mo I get people suggesting movies to me all the time, like you know, on comments or tech messaging me. And I, you know, if unless I've seen the movie, unless I like the movie, I just like I don't know because if I'm not, if I don't, if I'm not interested in it, I don't know how good my video is will be. Because I part of the part of the why my channel is becoming I think a little successful is because you can tell that I'm excited to be everywhere that I am like every single location I go to I'm always excited to go to like even if I'm really exhausted and tired I can get somewhere and I get rejuvenated because I'm like oh shit this is this or this is this and I get happy yeah But yeah, I get asked to do Stranger Things at least once a day. And I'm just like, I've never seen this show. There's got to be a million. I don't watch other people's filming locations unless they're friends of mine that do it. And just because I don't want to mess up my my head about if I'm going to. I'm like, I know there's Stranger Things locations out there people have done. Come on. You can do that. But people want to see different people's takes on it. And I get it. I have to watch the show. It does star Winona Ryder. And I do love her. So maybe. Yeah. Oh, 
What place is top of your bucket list? Ah, uh, England, London, ah, uh, lots of places out there. I mean, there's lots of other places that I would like to go to. Like, I, I, I've been to lots of great um, American, uh, like I've done Washington D.C., the, the Grand Canyon, but I haven't uploaded them ever. And now, now that's been too long, so I have to redo them. I missed the Grand Canyon on my way on my way through. Uh, Arizona last month, but there's there's tons of like places that don't have to do with pop culture, more like just tourist traps and tourist things that I like to like to go and show people. And yeah. so there's stuff like that. Washington D.C. is one that I've filmed a million times, and I don't think I've ever uploaded a video for Washington D.C. I don't think so. I don't know if I have, but I love it there, and I love I love uh, the the history in that city. And I've done, I think, about three or four videos and just never put them up. And I would like to put them up. I would like to redo them. So hopefully maybe this summer I'll get back to Washington, D.C. and uh, be able to film some stuff. But, yeah, I mean, there's there's stuff in Australia I want to see. There's stuff in uh, Hungary. There's stuff yeah. all over the place. I can't think of any place I don't really want to go to. Uh, I don't really want to go to Alaska or Antarctica because I hate yeah. snow. But I will. I will go to Alaska, but I don't want to. I know it's going to be amazing. How do you feel when you hear that I saw it the allig alligator growling? The mountain lion growling. Yeah. Oh, the alligator? Well, those alligators do growl. <laughs> People don't, they make that weird noise. Yeah. It's more of like a, it's more like a hum. And and they do growl. That's <laughs> creepy. And seeing all the alligators on the other side of the fence, I mean, that's my first, that's no, that's in, in the beginning of my videos. But the mountain lion, somebody told me mountain lions don't growl. And I'm like, they, they wrote that in the comment section. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not seeing it right. They don't growl, but they make a sound. And it sounds yeah. like a growl. And I Googled it, and they actually don't growl. But they make other noises. The, the, the women. The mount, female mountain lions make some sort of screech. And mountain lions let out this giant purr type, type of sound. That's what I heard. And you would hear it on the video of Friday the 13th. And it's yeah. scary as hell. <laughs> it's, you know, when you're in the middle of nowhere... And you you know you see a mountain lion, they'll tear you apart. So that was you know risky. And I've had like, some bear encounters in, in the Angeles forest, with far far away, uh, yeah. trying to film something. And that's not. It's just you know it's not fun. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so another question for you. Yeah, what's the question? Who is your '90s crush? Movie singer, pop culture. I uh, gotta be uh, probably Winona Ryder. Gotta be Winona Ryder. I mean, Reality Bites. What else was she in the '90s? I mean, Reality Age of Innocence. But Reality Bites, really, because she's a little older than me, and I thought, wow. Yeah, I'd say we don't Winona Ryder. Maybe uh, mm. no Winona Ryder. Final answer. And Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. There was no better looking guy in the 90s than Johnny Depp, that's for sure. Maybe Brad Pitt, but Johnny Depp was pretty, pretty good looking guy. Him and Winona made a great couple. I was very jealous of him dating her. But if she was going to date anyone, it should be Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. My favorite movie of all time is Star Wars and Training Day and 8 Mile. Anything that takes place in L.A., I like. L.A. cops and L.A. gangs, uh, stuff like that. I do like Men's Society. A lot of the movies you're seeing on my channel, like Brokeback Mountain, a lot of stuff. Those are my favorite movies. Nightcrawler, you know, those are all my favorite movies. Okay. Um... How is it? 
how is it for you to go close to like an alligator? <laughs> <laughs> how was it? Well, I mean, my friend got in the water first with the alligator, so I didn't get in the water. I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not insane, you know. <laughs> People yeah. that live, my friend that lives, a few of my friends that live in Florida, they're used to dealing with alligators and seeing them, and they seem to think they have a handle on how to get close to them. I don't know if anybody does. They're wild animals, uh, but yeah. I had a I had I had a good um, six feet between me of a of a uh, <laughs> uh, a hill. Like I was on the top of the cliff, looking not cliff. It's six feet. The alligator's right there. You can see on the video. One of my first yeah. videos, I think it's my first. You can see how close I was to a wild alligator, but that's what I wanted, and I got it. But my friend actually got in that water first to get the alligator to come. And I wish I filmed that, because that's the craziest thing I ever never saw. Yeah. <laughs> alligator questions, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sadie's awake. There he is. Oh, he's still wet for the rain. Um, let me see. Which country <laughs> makes the best coffee? Canada. <laughs> You can't compare. Uh, I've had a couple of good cups of coffee in um, in the states. Sometimes, I mean, Dunkin' Donuts makes good coffee. Starbucks is never hot enough, but uh, yeah. I'm so used to Canadian coffee. It tastes there. I mean, co coffee is not just coffee, but for the most part, coffee is coffee. But I would yeah. say Canada, Tim Hortons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bretton said, are you terrible with of snakes? Am I terrified of snakes? No. Yeah. I mean, rattlesnakes being alone in the, like, I was, I just spent so much time up in the desert recently, and um, and at that barn for Friday 13th, and I was there for a while, so there's, um, after I, there, I had a rattlesnake scare two years ago in Death Valley with my friend while we were filming, and I got that on camera. So this yeah. time, I was a little more, I haven't been back to the desert since then because of the pandemic and stuff. So I was a little more, I, I like you're going to see, I did some videos in the middle of the desert. You'll see coming up on my channel. And I was a little more wary of rattlesnakes this time. I was like, Jesus, like I'm in the middle of nowhere by myself again. And now I've actually seen rattlesnakes in person and seen them like, you know, go at me. So I was a little worried. Yeah. yeah, leave them alone. That's true. I do. I leave them alone. I've done Home Alone and Shawshank on my channel. I just haven't been inside the prison before. Not not for YouTube, but I will. Let me ask about Home Alone, Shawshank. Okay. There's some questions. Would I ever do a cruise? What kind of cruise, Braxton? Like, uh... Scott on tape cruise, there'd be like five people that would go. <laughs> but I, I would go I would go on a I would go on a cruise, sure. Yeah. I mean as long as there's enough lifeboats. But you know, cruise sounds cruise I mm, now I think about it, I think I'd be worried about the Wi Fi. I think I'd be worried about the Wi Fi on a cruise. And I'm I'm very, very I can't stay in one place for too long. And if I was on a a boat for like four or five excuse me, excuse my language, four or five days I go crazy. I can't just I, for the next couple of years. I'm not gonna be able to go. I'm not gonna go on vacation. You know, I'll go to a beach for an afternoon or two hours, an hour, and I'm done. I'm just working and filming. I, if I was on a boat, I would. What am I gonna do? No, actually, now that I think about it, no. I, I, I mean, if I want a cruise, I guess I, I guess I, I don't know. I don't know what I do. I guess if I want it, I'd be really stressed out. Having to walk yeah. back and forth up and down the deck, or, you know, sit by the pool. How long can you? I, like, I love water and I love going swimming. I love tanning, 
obviously. <laughs> but how long am I out? Like for an hour a day. Otherwise, I want to be doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. AJ knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, fuck. I want to. I mean, yeah. No, I don't know if I go on a boat. Yeah, yeah. I do come to the south. Where are you in the south? Somebody's asking me. KLC. Uh, if I get off, yeah, I get off and tape something, but I want to tape something the whole time. Like I want to be filming the whole time. But I can go and relax. I can. I can. I can. I can, I can still go when I'm. Uh, like in Los Angeles, I took some time to relax every now and again. I, I you know, I went out with some friends various nights and just hung out, just chilled and kind of drove around and then hung out at various places, you know, and then I walked around the beach a few times. Oh, I love Alabama. Oh, somebody's from Alabama, KLC. I did some great videos, I thought, in Alabama. But, back in probably that's 2018 um and uh down uh like i did some in mississippi alabama and i want to go back because i love it down there i love 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 the deep south and i really like alabama i think it's and there's a great location having to do with a very famous musician in alabama that not a lot of people know about so i want to go down there and get that but i'm gonna have to do other things so hopefully this summer i'll be down there yeah, I love the history of it too. Yeah. Um, let's see. What has been your scariest moment? Probably the mountain lion. <laughs> last month in May, probably probably being warned that there's a mountain lion on the property, and then actually being left alone there, and then seeing the mountain lion. Mountain Lion. Oh, my REM videos. My REM videos in Georgia. That was one of my favorite things I ever did. Terry's right. And Hank Williams. No, not Hank Williams, but I like Hank Williams, but it's not Hank Williams. No, somebody you would never expect to be in Alabama. Um, but um, probably my serious experience would be definitely the, um, yeah, it was the Mountain Lion for sure. I mean, I saw a Mountain Lion. Oh, the barn owl and the brokeback mountain. Oh, that, those are seagulls, I, I think, or or I don't know what those were. What it wasn't a barn owl because there was a bunch of them. That wasn't that was, that scared me. But then once I realized it was just birds flying out of a barn, I was okay. But no, the seeing the mountain lion, hearing it, then seeing it, then hearing it again, and thinking it was stalking me while I'm trying to film, you know, was yeah. pretty crazy. You know, that's it. That's that was it. Yeah, that was. And then another time, then I could hear a bear and that was following me in a forest. You know, when, you, when you're Canadian, you get to know the sounds of various animals. And there's bears make a very specific sound like that, kind of like a horse, but deeper. And uh, I heard it when I was in the Angeles forest by myself. And I was like, oh, God, here we go. This is how it's, this is it. This is how it ends. But no, I made it out okay. Thank God. But the mountain lion was definitely my the worst. <laughs> um, most of them say about something about the bird. <laughs> what was the bird? Yeah, that, that was that was there was a bird in the Brokeback Mountain barn. Um, there's another time a bird freaked me out. They're always freaking me out though. They're always flying out of place. Like when you go into a place, yeah. you know, I don't like bats. So if I saw a bat, I did. I, I did go to a bat house in. Um, uh, Gainesville, Florida. And I think that was on my birthday two years ago or three years ago. And so I filmed that. I think it was two years ago, August. And because um, I hate bats, so I wanted to see if I could confront my fear of bats. And I did not, I, I, I did not enjoy a lot of it. I did, but I didn't. Because once they started flying out, I was convinced that they're going to land in my hair. You know, I was convinced, yeah. but there's other people around, but some people had umbrellas, other people just stand there. I was convinced. Canadian yeah. geese. Do I believe in ghosts? No, Braxton. I believe in science. <laughs> <laughs> but you were pretty white, Braxton. So maybe maybe they do exist. You need a tan. Um what was your embarrassment moment my what your embarrassment moment an embarrassing moment yeah on camera 
I don't know. Um, I mean, I've. I don't know if I've had any. I'm not too. Uh, I'm not too afraid of. Uh, I'm not too afraid of embarrassing myself. Like I mean, I've dressed up in different costumes and stuff, and put on mustaches and fake wigs on camera. Yeah. Uh, that's just part of performing and having fun. But I don't get really. I don't really get. No, I don't. I don't really get embarrassed. I probably will at some point. You know, who knows? Yeah. But no, I don't think I get embarrassed. I like being on camera because it's just, you know, because I'm talking, it's just me talking to people when I'm filming. I'm talking yeah. to the viewer, right? So I'm not, I don't pay yeah. attention to anybody around me, really. There could be a million yeah. people around me and I'm not paying, I, I don't, that's why like sometimes people will point out things in videos and they'll be like, oh, you, did you see the guy behind you? See that? Did you see this? I'm like, no, I didn't see any of that. I, I, I didn't notice anything going on around me because I'm so focused on what I'm doing. Like when I met Kurt Cobain's uncle, Everybody was talking about the gun that was on the coffee table uh, that during the, our whole conversation. And I didn't notice that gun. I had to look on the video. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a gun there. And I mean, I know I was looking at pictures of Kurt on the wall while we were talking, pictures of Kurt that he had. And then when we're, I'm having a conversation with his, with his uh, uncle, I'm looking at him because I'm having a conversation with somebody. I'm not looking around, you know, like I'm, I'm listening for his answer because it was really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Shady. I got to take Shady out soon. So. Okay. Give me one more question now, Berta. Okay. Please. What do you got? Um, give me your best one. Um, yeah. Well, I saw a lot somebody... of Cobain family pics. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, somebody's asking you who's your be your special guest on your live stream. Uh, I, I, I've reached out to a couple of people for my next guest. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm doing a live chat, 9 o'clock, uh, same time as always. I don't think I'll have a guest tomorrow night, but I've reached out to somebody interesting. And then I'm going to have um, guests okay. on that I filmed with. Because yeah. as I start uploading, I'm going to have guests people that I film with and talk about the filming experiences so that there's any more. And then I do have a couple of celebrity guests coming on soon. Yeah. It's a matter of working out the timing. That may not be on a live chat that maybe, or maybe a surprise live chat all of a sudden on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've got lots of people lined up and, you know, I get people to ask, you know, I've gotten, it's nice people ask to come on and, you know, but it goes so fast. I mean, you've been on my live chats. It goes so fast now. I want to be able to talk to people and answer questions. So, yeah. and yes, I will visit the UK for sure. But yeah, I, I, I've got, uh, I don't know who my next guest is going to be until I figure out what videos I put up next week. I already kind of, I, I know the next video I'm putting up and then I yeah. kind of know the next three. It's, like, it's a nice luxury to have that whole, I've got uh, just a ton of videos right now to edit and I can decide yeah. what to put up. So when I, when I think of, yeah, I, and I have to put up my Patreon videos because I did a lot of stuff for Patreon and I haven't put up any of those videos because these ones are taking so long to edit. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I still have more questions, but maybe we can do it okay, well, next week. Okay, you have another question? You have another one? Yeah, we can do an, um, another live again sometime Yeah, of course. Soon. Yeah, maybe we'll someone next one. week. Yeah, so, uh, you let me know. Okay. All okay, right. let me know. I okay. do work around the clock, but it's fun. Do I need yeah. a secretary? I need an assistant or a secretary. Oh, he's, she, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's up to, but he's looking so guilty right now. <laughs> he, he, he just walked under the bed and came out and just stared at me. And I'm just like, what are you doing? He's so guilty. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, All Alberta. Right. So we'll do it again okay. next week. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.